so good morning class so in the last lecture we have studied about uh, the working and the construction of human eye okay so we have uh, studied about the various component of the human eye like sclera choroid retina lens acus humor vitreous humor cornea iris pupil etc okay so and then i have told the working of these components and how our eyes works okay so i think this is well understood by you now in today's class uh, we will study the defects in the human eye okay so the defects related to the lens and the ciliary muscles okay so sometimes we see many person are wearing spectacles why are they wearing spectacles because there is uh, some defects in their eyes okay so the defects are myopia hypermetropia and presbyopia so in these defects the person sometimes can't see the nearby object but can see the far away object okay or sometime it can see the far away object but can't see the nearby object or maybe sometime it can't see nearby as well as the far away object so depending on his vision okay so up to where he can see the object the defects are categorized into three parts first is hypermetropia second is myopia and third is presbyopia okay so we will start Uh, this lecture from the myopia okay so let us begin so defects of the human eye okay so there are mainly three common refractive defects of vision first one is myopia which is also called short sightedness second is hypermetropia which is also called long sightedness and third is presbyopia which is also called old age hypermetropia so these are the three common uh, refractive defects of vision okay so there are many more like uh, astigmatism and cataract so these uh, defects we will study in today's class so first let, let us study the myopia so myopia means short sightedness so what is myopia so myopia is the defect of eye vision due to which a person can see the nearby object clearly but cannot see the far object so distinctly means a person can see the nearby object means those object which are near to the person those object can be seen to that person but beyond uh, some distance the object are not clearly visible means they are blur okay so this defect is called myopia okay so see this diagram so this is the far point far point is the point what is far point so far point is the maximum distance up to which a myopic eye can see object distinctly okay so means the distance up to which the person can see the object okay so this distance this maximum distance is called far point okay so if this is far point so uh, the image of this point can be uh, will be formed in retina so if image is formed at retina means this object will be vis visible to us okay now what is the cause of this myopia the first cause is due to elongation of eyeball so sometimes the eyeball is enlarged okay so if an uh, eyeball is enlarged then image will be not formed at retina it will be formed before retina okay so the second cause is due to decrease in the focal length of eye lens if this focal length is decreased so this point will shift towards left okay means the less focal length okay you can see the figure this is the far point up to which the object is visible but if an object suppose o prime is placed beyond this far point so the object is far okay so its image is formed before the retina okay so means the object o prime is not clearly visible okay so this defect is called myopia okay so in myopia a person can't see the far object but 
it can see he can he or she can see uh, the nearby object okay so what how can we correct the uh, myopia so myopia can be corrected by using concave lens of suitable focal length okay so if we um, use concave len lens before our eye like this okay so if we place a concave lens then the concave lens will diverge the ray okay so the concave ray will diverge the ray and then this point will shift towards the right so the image will be formed at retina so depending on the power of this concave lens okay so the uh, this point will be shift towards the right and image will be formed at the retina so the object which is far will be uh, clearly seen okay so this is how we can cure the myopia so myopia means uh, a person who can not see the object which is placed distant okay so but it can see, he or she can see nearby object so this defect is called myopia okay the second is hypermetropia or we can say long sightedness so hypermetropia is a defect of eye vision due to which a person can see far away object now in this case a person can see the far away object clearly but cannot see the near object nearby object okay so in this case so let this is the near point so this is the minimum distance up to which uh, the uh, person can see okay so this is the near point of that person but before this distance it can't see anything okay so what uh, so the near point what is near point near point is the minimum distance up to which the hypermetropic eye can see the object okay so what is the minimum distance from the eye up to which the hypermetropic eye can see the object okay so uh, the near point for normal eye is 25 cm okay so for our normal eye near point is 25 cm means up to 25 cm we can see the object clearly okay and uh, far point of the normal eye is infinity means we can see for normal eye normal eye can see uh, the object placed between 25 to the infinity okay so this um, uh, object can be visible okay so before 25 cm it is also visible but the term is distinctly means uh, if we see the object placed uh, less than 25 cm okay so it will cause pain in our eyes okay though we can see the object but it will cause pain or it will cause stress now what are the causes of this hypermetropia so due to shortening of the eyeball now in this case the eyeball is shortened okay if the eyeball is shortened then this point will shift towards the right second cause is due to increase the focal uh, focal length of the eye lens if this focal length is increased then also this point will shift towards the right like this okay so the uh, the object uh, image of the object is formed behind the retina that's why it is called long sightedness okay so that's why it is called long sightedness because uh, the image is formed behind the retina okay so in this case what should we do to decrease the focal length means how can we decrease this focal length okay so we can't decrease this focal length but we can converts these light light rays uh, before this point how so hypermetropia can be corrected by using convex lens if we place a convex lens in front of our eye like this so it will converts these light rays and this point will shift towards the right so image will be formed at retina again we have to use the proper power of this lens okay so that its image is formed at retina clear now suppose uh, this is our um, near point and this is near point up at this distance and uh, far to this distance this person can see anything but but uh, but the distance which is less than its near point 
द हाइपरमेट्रोप इज अ डिफेक्ट which can a person can see far away object but can't see nearby object now if the object is placed nearby to the eye then it will not be visible to the hypermetropic eye because its image will be formed behind the uh, retina okay so this defect is called this defect is called hypermetropia so uh, for normal eye it is 25 cm but for hypermetropic eye it is uh, like uh, 40 cm 50 cm 60 cm depending on the uh, cause okay so if uh, an object is placed at 60 cm okay so the hypermetropic eye can't see so it will be the near point for the hypermetropic eye okay so beyond 60 cm it can see so less than 60 cm it can't see the object okay so this defect is called hypermetropia next is presbyopia now presbyopia in the older age or we can say greater than 40 years the size of lens increases okay now the si uh, size of lens increases if the size of lens is increases then ciliary muscle will not able to uh, change the focal length properly okay so the ciliary muscles lose their power of accommodation this defect is called presbyopia okay so the, now you can Uh, you can think that if lens is heavy then ciliary muscle can't uh, change the focal length of the lens so this is also called power of accommodation so this defect is called presbyopia okay so if person is also suffering from myopia then he can't see the nearby object as well as far away object okay so means a person can't see nearby object as well as far away object distinctly so this condition is called pres biopia so cause what is the cause of this due to the increase of the size of the eye lens means eye lens becomes heavy okay due to older age now how can we correct okay so if person can't see nearby object as well as far away object then we have to use both type of lenses okay so hypermetropia can be corrected by using a bifocal lens of suitable focal power fo focal length okay means suitable power so uh, we have to use bifocal lens so the this is bifocal lens in which that upper part is concave and the lower part is convex now upper part is for to see the distant object and lower part is sees the nearby object okay so this is the uh, this is uh, this is spectacles for the uh, presbyopia okay now next is uh, astig uh, astigmatism okay so what is astigmatism astigmatism it is a type of refractive error caused by the irregularities in the shape of person cornea so if the shape of cornea is irregular okay so what are the cause cause uh, cause is due to irregularities in the shape of the person cornea or lens okay so if the uh, cornea is not smooth or we can say it is irregular then there will be irregular refraction means multiple image will be formed at multiple location clear because there will be more curvature more than one curvature okay so if more than one curvature means more than one image now here you can see if this cornea is irregular then here image is also formed here and here image is also formed so there are two three or four uh, many more image can be formed depending on the irregularities in your cornea or lens okay so this condition is called astigmatism okay so when the cornea is irregular irregular means this is not smooth this is irregular okay so uh, image will be formed in multiple location so uh, the image will be visible as blur blur image will be visible okay so how can we correct so this is also correct by the glasses or contact lens okay so they are uh, these are spe uh, special type of glass or contact lens uh, that we will not discuss in this lecture because it is out of syllabus okay so astigmatism can also be cured by the proper glasses clear so this is astigmatism next is cataract so this is important so what is cataract due to membrane growth over the eye lens the eye lens become hazy or even opaque 
okay it it becomes translucent okay so this leads to decrease of or loss of vision the problem is all called cataract so in cataract our lens we know that our lens is transparent okay but sometimes what happens that a membrane is growth over the eye lens and it becomes milky white okay so it becomes milky white so this condition is called cataract okay so how can we correct this cataract this there is only one uh, solution for this it can be corrected only by surgery okay how, how what type of surgery is performed a crystalline eye lens is changed by artificial lens so in cataract our eye lens is changed by the the artificial lens okay so artificial lens is placed in place of the uh, our crystalline eye lens okay so this is the this is normal eye where you can see its iris is black but in this case you can see this is white so this is our lens which is which becomes white a membrane growth over the lens and this is milky white so this condition is called cataract so if lens is opaque then no light will pass through it okay so if no light can pass through it so then no image will be formed at retina then person can uh, person can be blind okay so these are the defects of the human eye which defects we have studied first myopia then hypermetropia then presbyopia then astigmatism and then cataract okay class i think you have understood the about the three defects okay so what is hypermetropia what is myopia and what is presbyopia this i have told in detailed okay so in uh, myopia we use concave lens in hypermetropia we use convex lens and in presbyopia we use the bifocal lens okay so this is it for today thank you class